So I'm first going to demonstrate how to just print out the information without any organizational structure. And then we're going to use HTML to clean it up a little bit. So to print it out with no structure, it's actually uh, pretty, pretty simple. Uh, we would start by using echo and we can use echo just to print out some of the different data here so we're going to establish a connection for this to work so we'll get rid of the echo statement in a second because we want to print out all the data so we're going to use what is called a for each loop and that reads for each literally quotation we're going to call upon our same database connection variable so database and how we're connecting is we're going to have a query which is a question of what is there so we're calling everything in on our query we're searching the whole thing SQL terms again we're going to use the term, we're going to use an apostrophe, and we're going to use the term select. And when we select, we're saying what we want to select. When we put an asterisk after select, we mean select everything. We could get specific as to say when we select name or ID, but we're not going to. We can, and we can demonstrate that in a little bit. Select everything from, and it's going to be from the table demo, and then we'll do an apostrophe and a count or apostrophe and parenthesis, and then this is going to be established. In my example, I used row. I'm going to use the letter R to make it stand out. So for each, connect to database, query, select asterisk from demo, apostrophe, parenthesis, as variable R. Then we use a left brace. So we go down here and we make a right brace so it all stays contained. And we're just going to go ahead and pull the data from the database. So it will be data R, uh, left bracket, and inside the brackets we're going to use the apostrophes and we're going to use the column headings from the table the table in the database so we'll use that one to tie the thoughts together we have to use a period and then we'll do another one and this one was ID num apostrophe right brace period another variable r every time we do need to refer to variable r so that we can make sure that we're referring to what we want to with the database uh, the next one we need is money no dollar sign that's my fault we don't need a dollar sign for money and then finally we're going to use uh, lunches and what we need to put in front to make sure that this prints out is the word echo and we're gonna go save it here it's been uploading pretty quickly so let's see if it does it here which it did and let's go just refresh the write.php page to see what it says and it says unexpected t echo on line 15 so let's go check out what we did on line 15 we tried to echo all this information so let's see what we need to do to fix that we can go here and just start by giving it some space dot our name and maybe we don't need the dots in between because I I'm going off an example that has HTML in between so maybe that's not the case re-upload it's moving very quickly now very impressed let's see if that worked continue 
and it still did not. So I'm going to go ahead and pause and figure out what's going on. HP.